What's up, YouTube? Today I'm reviewing like two animes in the same video. I mean, I'm not gonna like be making. It's not a full review. It's like my first impressions of the first episodes, cause like so far these two animes only have one episode and they were re released like in the same week and stuff. So like th these two animes are Kam Got Killed and Tokyo Gal. Now I have to say, when I first saw the trailer for a Kam Got Killed, I was hyped up. Because, you know, before that, I was up to date with a comic like Kill, and I really liked the manga. And I was like, you know what? This series really needs to be animated. It would be up there with Attack on Titan and stuff. And yeah. And because, you know, it's a badass dark shonen series. And I, and I was really excited to see this animated. Then I saw the trailer for a Tokyo Gal, and all the comments were like, oh, this is going to be way better than a comic like Kill and stuff. And I was like, okay, these people don't know what they're talking about. Because I've read, you know, all the manga for Kamen Rider Kill, A Stone Going, by the way. What did I say? Kill I Kill? No, I said Kamen Rider Kill, right? So anyway, I was like, these people don't know what they're talking about. They, they're already overhyping this anime. And I was like, I do not want another sword or online. I do really do not want another sword online. I don't care what you say. I don't care if I get hate for saying this. But sword online was a big pile of crap. It was horrible. It was terrible. It was just, it was diarrhea, right? It was crap. I couldn't even finish it. It was boring. Yeah, I really don't like Sword Online. It was an overrated piece of crap to me. But anyway, until a comic got killed. Basically, you have this main character called Tassini. And you know, he comes from this poor village and he goes to the capital so he becomes someone big and gives money back to his poor village. Now, originally, he was going to the capital with his friends, but, you know, they had to split up because he got attacked by a bunch of thieves. You know, Tasumi got there by himself. Now, he ends up getting his money stolen by this girl, and, you know, he has to sleep on the streets, but luckily this rich girl comes, takes pity on him, and, you know, she invites him to her mansion. So, she gets, I mean, he gets the job as a guard, and during the night, He's looking out the window, and he sees all these guards getting killed by a group of assassins. Now, we know about the assassins later on in the series. I know this because I've read all the manga. I'm currently up to date. In fact, I, like, like, I've read the newest chapter, like, half an hour ago, and it was, no, it was okay. It was okay, but overall, the manga is amazing. You should read it. So, anyway, he is scared. He's like, oh, my God, there's no way I could defeat them. So, he goes off and, you know, f trying to find some rich girl. And the rich girl is over by this um small house. I know this is a real name for it. So she so you no, know, she's at the small house. Well, one of the assassins is there. Like in fact, two of them are there. So he fights one of them and he's like, Can you are you really about to kill this innocent girl? And the other assassin's like, Trust me, she's really not innocent. So the assassin opens up the door and what we see were well, a bunch of dead bodies. They are messed up. And the funny fact is, is that the anime is a censored version. The manga goes into a lot more detail of the bodies. Like, they'll, like, cut up, like, cut in half, like, have a bunch of bruises and stuff. And inside one of the cages is one of the guy's best friends. And it's like, wow, it really hits you deep. And we found out that the other friend is dead. Like, that's crazy. You really feel sorry for this guy. In the manga, we get to see the, the girl, you know, the guy's friend, we get to see her dead body, I think. And so, you know, Tatsumi, he goes up to the rich girl and straight up kill her, no remorse. In this series, they will kill each other without feeling anything. Yo, everyone in the series is a killing machine. They do not care about who kills who. As long as one, their friends don't die, they do not care. They're kind of cold-blooded if you think about it. Like, the main characters in this series are kind of cold-blooded, but they don't kill innocent people, they just kill the evil people, but still... So yeah, this this is really good, and I really want to see more episodes, because the manga is great, and I want to see how they handle the manga, because it's a dark shonen, surprisingly. It's not a seinen. It's a dark shonen. It's as dark as a shonen can get. It's really great, and you should go read it. And if you don't feel like reading it, because there are a lot of lazy otakus who don't like to read manga, you should at least watch the anime. Like, I don't know if I'm going to review this anime every week. I don't know. I might. I might. Or I might make a final review of it once the anime ends. So anyway, going to Tokyo Gal. Now with Tokyo Gal, we have this guy called Ken. You know, he's calm. He likes to read books and stuff. And so he's at this cafe with his friend. 
and he sees this girl at another table reading the same book as him. And they go on a date, which doesn't make sense, because how you date a girl, you barely know. You date her just because she reads the same book as you, or you don't like that, but whatever. So before they go on a date, they're watching the news and stuff. They see how the you know, ghouls attack, ghouls, I think. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. You know, they are, you know, ghouls attacking these people, eating their flesh and stuff. You know, it's really dark and whatever. And, you know, the girl starts to get scared and it's like, Ken, please walk me home. You know, while he's walking her home, she, she like, it looks like she's hugging him. But no, we zoom out. No, actually, we zoom in and we see her eating, eating his neck. It's like, wow. So we find out that she's a ghoul the whole time. And these tentacles pop out her body and no, this is not hentai. And starts drawing her around all these, all the construct, around the construction site. And, you know, he was about to die, but luckily the construction site falls apart and the metal beams, like, fall on her and crush her completely. And, you know, Ken has to go to the hospital and get surgery. And the doctors use the girl's organs to put inside him. So then he comes part guy. We notice because his eye turned, his, one of his eyes turned red and stuff. So that was really dark. Like, when he goes back home, he watches the news again, and we find out that ghouls really do not like eating human food. They find it disgusting. And he remembers at the hospital, he really did not like the food there. So what does he do? He goes in the refrigerator, eats everything, but vomits it all out. And we find out that he's a ghoul. And we also find out that Nice can't work on ghouls, and he stops himself as hard as he can, and the knife breaks. We really feel sorry for him. Like, you, feel, you really feel sorry for him. There were comments on for Never World's review of this, like how... Oh my god, the main character is such a bitch. Like, like that's retarded. This is how a normal person re would react. Okay, I'm sorry if you're hearing any jump cuts in this video. It's just that iMovie is being retarded. It keeps cutting me off. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm going to try to fix it in my next video. But yeah, anyway, I find Ken really likable. It's how a normal person would react. And yeah, I prefer these type of characters over the generic Shonen Jump character with spiky hair. Loves to fight and overreacts to every small thing. I really cannot stand. I mean, it's not that I can't stand them, and just I'm I kind of getting tired of generic shonen characters nowadays. So anyway, no, he goes to a construction. Well, <laughs> one on time. So anyway, like during the end of the episode, he he's in this alleyway and he smells something great. And he's like, "What is this smell? Is it finally human food I like?" And like he goes running and stuff. And what he finds is a dead human body. And, like, a gal is eating it. It's like, oh, no. And the gal gets killed by another gal. Because, you know, he was in his territory or whatever. And, you know, the gal is about to kill Ken. But, luckily, he gets saved by a female gal. So, he got lucky. And the girl offers him a piece of flesh. And he reaches out his hand, but takes it back. And he's like, I don't know. If I eat this, I won't become a. I won't be a human anymore. I'll be a gal. And he really doesn't know what to do. He's he's freaking out. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to accept any of this. And you really feel sorry for him at this point. It makes you think, what would you do at this if you was in this series? I I don't, I don't know what I would do. So anyway, the episode ends with the girl shoving the meat down in the boy's throat. The screen goes blank, and we hear a global sound. So that pretty much tells us that he ate the meat. And yeah, he gave his humanity. We feel sorry for him. And yeah, both these animes are great. I was kind of expecting Tokyo Gal to be some overrated anime like Sword Online and No Game No Life. But actually, it was good. It was actually good. Anime fans finally got a taste in anime this year. Finally. I don't know what were they smoking when they decided to overhype Sword Online and No Game No Life. But yeah, this was good. And I uh, plan on watching this every week. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about these two animes. Now, let me talk about my personal life for a quick second. Unfortunately, I got summer school that freaking sucks just because I failed this global test. It's freaking retarded. I cannot do with school. But on the bright side, it's only 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock, so it's not that bad, I guess. I hate school for passion. I hate school more than anybody else. School is hell. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say.